Welcome to Painful Part 2. Let's go on to our next match here. We're going to have Ruby Carter going one on one against Alice Blackwell. Yeah, that's right. Ruby Carter going on against Alice Blackwell. Hey, you know what? You now have to suck it because of Tammy Gunn. Oh. Okay, look. I know I've been downing her a lot, but. Yeah, yeah, that's right, you have. But I'll, I'll tell you this. I'll give her credit where it's due. I mean, that's a lot. Hector Diaz actually give him credit? Wow. What do you mean? You know that I call things how I see it. Yeah, and I call you a moron sometimes, but that doesn't make us perfect. What do you mean, I'm a moron? What about you? You always with these non coherent jokes and. All the stuff that you always talk about? What about that? Well, I mean, I say it like it is. <laughs> oh, that's always one of the fans just reached out and grabbed your microphone a little bit. <laughs> Where's security at? I don't know. Oh, we still have some... We still have four title matches left to go. Later on, we are going to have the XGWL Women's title on the line in the Fatal 4 way as Sarah Warfield's going to defend her title against yeah. Diana Dunn. Right okay, I'm back on the air. Anyway, you made the right call about the security thing. Stupid fans. But anyway, as I was saying, as you were so rudely interrupted, Sarah Warfield's going to defend her women's title against three very tough competitors in, in Moonlight, Crimson, and Diana Diamond. Which, by the way, Diana Diamond still holds that gold certificate. And I don't know what's going to happen if she wins the title here, and, and then we'll have no need for the gold certificate to cash it in. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, I better keep it. As, as, Al, as my colleague Joshua get, takes care of something, let's get this match started here. Nice counter there by Alice Blackwell. And now, Ruby Carter. Look at the strength! I'm surprised and what a scoop slam. And now going with the Senton. But other than that women's title match, Fatal 4-Way coming up, we also have the three prison yard matches coming up. One for the pure title as Brandon Thomas, the new XGWL pure champion, will be defending his title against five tough competitors. And it's not going to be easy for, for Brandon Thomas. I mean... What a victory he had on XGWL Charged, episode number 83. That was a few months ago. And uh, again, I apologize for the long delay. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed their Labor Day weekend. I know it's been pretty hot here, especially because we were coming towards the end of the summer season. And, man. And, oh, <laughs> nice defense there by Alice Blackwell swatting away. And again, swatting away Ruby Carter. And Ruby Carter has a lot to prove it. And just hanging up Alice Blackwell right there. And now Alice Blackwell getting back up. And now Irish whip to the ropes. And now, oh, what a power slam. And now hooking the legs, going for the cover. One, two. Only a two count. Ruby Carter able to kick out. And also the, the the prison yard match for the XGWO Pro title. That's not going to be an easy task either. I mean, Rick Acid. Thankfully, Joshua's not here to call him Rick Astley. The Mr. Rick role there the, against five other tough competitors. Also, the the main event, the pure the prison yard match for the XGWO Ultimate title. Now, oh, returning the favor right there. And now, game picking her back up. And now. Oh man, this has got to be it. And oh man, that tiger bomb, the cover, two, and oh man, almost three. Ruby Carter with some toughness to kick out of that one. As I was saying, the okay, man, I'm back. Uh, glad you can join us now. And now, yeah. what a back yeah. suplex. I'm sorry, I had to go fill out forms for security. Excuse me. Okay, that's fine. At least you're back here to help me call this action. And, I mean, so far it's, it's been a... 
a good showcase in here for both these ladies. I mean, Ruby Carter showing us that yeah, she has I'm a lot. Yeah, sure bore the fans to death. Oh come on! I mean, I mean, I was born the fans to death. That's ridiculous. And what a knife that's chopped there. What do you mean it's ridiculous? Yes, it is a what a neck breaker there by Ruby Carter. Yes, it was a nice neck break by Ruby Carter. Now, yeah. Alice Blackwell getting back up. Form shot now. Nice go behind. Now, sending Alice Black, sending Ruby Carter to the ropes and, oh, nicely done with a hurricanrana, not going for the cover. One, two, and what the, oh, wow. Nice oh, reversal. Wow, reversal mode. Able to you reach the ropes. Play. Hey, I called as a seat. And European uppercut trying to throw her off her equilibrium and out. Actor, we don't want to know about you, you're European. What? You said European. I don't want to know about your pen. <laughs> what kind of a sick joke is that? I said equilibrium. Go read a go read a dictionary. The cover now. Kick out there by Alice Blackwell. And now, nice side rush and leg sweep. Honestly, even do you even know what the word equilibrium means? Uh, I know it has something to do with your uh, no eighty nine. Yeah, the sparked out back. Oh my god, you are so lame. And what a leg drop there by Ruby Carter. And she, she wants to put the mat. She, if she's got to. She wants to wish she's got to put her away now. And and Ruby Carter taking a page from from her best friend's Tammy's playbook. Ooh, and fine, I'll go look it up on my laptop here. And now, oh man, this has got to be a trying to go for what the. What a counter by Alice Blackwell! As Ruby Carter was trying to go for a finishing maneuver, that double arm DDT and hey, I, yeah, smart guy, Equilibrium, 2002 movie. No, it's not a movie. It's well, it, look it says over here on IMDb. Kick two, two count there. Kick out by Alice Blackwell. Equilibrium means that your balance, your, your sense of of balance that if you're getting knocked off Actually, your... Actually, no. You're you're wrong here. It mm. is a band, it is a movie, and it's the story of three loves. Wikipedia. Look it up. That's your I said look it up in the dictionary. Oh, what a power slam. I didn't say for you to look it up on Wikipedia. I said on the, on the dictionary. If you even know... And it's either uses a puzzle. And now, nice go behind by Ruby Carter, and and this conversation with you is really going nowhere. Oh, and okay. it also means a stale of a, a state of rest, balance due to equal action, opposing forces. Yeah, I guess she was right. Whatever. I told you, and and and. How is Black just continuous wait, wait. form shots to Ruby Carter, knocking her off the you know out of the, the number ring. three use of equilibrium is Hector what? Diaz, boring and unstable. Wow, you, how lame of you! And nice kick there by Alice hey, Blackwell. Hey, it's, uh, it's in the dictionary. Look it up. You'll just look at Hector Diaz, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And now, what's Alice Blackwell going to do? Oh wow, what a neck breaker, modified neck breaker now. Working on the back there, Ruby Carter. I've never seen nobody do a better modified DDT. That was a neck breaker now. Whatever. Oh, what a head scissors takedown. Neck breaker DDT, same thing. Nope. Oh, wow. You're not even going to comment on Major there. miscalculation there by Alice Blackwell. And Ruby hey, Carter's hey, got to hey. get somebody up. Somebody schedule a flat plant back there because she sure did miss it. And now... Ruby Carter trying to capitalize here, going to the submission hold. Yes, she, will she tap out? And oh, nice job of just powering out of that submission hold. You know, I love it when women stretch you like that. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. Now the and now what a move there now. What, and now Alice Blackwell, nice drop kick. And yes, she hit a nice drop kick. Unlike you, you couldn't hit a drop kick. What does that have to do with this match? I don't know. I mean, you tell me. You used to be a wrestler. No, no that was that was Joel Knight, not me. 
I'm not a wrestler. I'm just a commentator, and so are you. You and Joe not actually look the same. I mean, if I didn't know better, you two were twins. You have no idea what you're talking about. Sure, I do. I wouldn't have mentioned it if I didn't. <laughs> yeah, and again with your un inaccurate information. And oh, misses that knife edge chop. And now, Irish whip to the corner. What's Ruby Carter gonna do here? She's gotta capitalize. A nice counter. Took too long there. So, uh, Hector, when are you going for the Divas title? I'm not Andy Kaufman here, okay? Or that one guy over the big fan of Stafford. The cover now. One, two, and oh, that wow. Andy Kaufman. Able to kick out there. Did Ruby Carter now into a... I'll now, say this. Andy Kaufman did a better job than you did. How many times do I have to keep telling you, but you, uh, you refuse to, to listen? And now Ruby Carter going with the camel clutch. Again, and you and you need to get this through your head. I am not a wrestler. I'm just a commentator. And what a counter escape by Alice you know, Blackwell. It's honestly true. Camels don't really like clutches. And oh, what a DDT! Just working on the back of of Ruby Carter. So why couldn't they call it a camel rope instead of a camel clutch? Since camels don't like clutches. I don't know. Do not ask me. Why don't you ask the Iron Sheik? Well, I mean, you drive a camel with a rope, not a clutch. What do you think it is? Yeah, the camel car? Power slam. Wait a minute. The cover. One, two. Oh, almost two. I mean, I mean, the Iron Sheik was the one who popular, popularized the name of, of the move. I mean, it was originally invented by Gory Guerrero, made famous originally by Santo. Yeah, your Uncle Santo. Oh, wow. What a complete shot there by Alice Black. We're looking to capitalize here to put her away and now. That's got to be it here. Good oh, down the rabbit hole and now the cover. One, two. That's it. That's all she wrote. And nice victory there for Alice Black. Thank you. I did win. Not you, idiot. <laughs> and as we look at the replay here. And Ruby Carter able to kick out after that for the first time. Where's my title? I did win. You're, you're just a commentator just like me. You have no right to be in the ring. But, oh wow, what? As you see there, that complete shot that putting the exclamation mark with, with, with a smooth and down the rabbit hole for the second time in the match and then just with a three count. Yeah, I have no right to be a good janitor. Oh, you racist. Don't, don't be mad just because I, I'm telling you the truth. Well, regardless, a nice victory there for Alice Blackwell. And man, uh, what a good way to kick off part so, two. Uh, Hector, let me ask something. How many victories have you had? I, I have never had a wrestling match before, so... Yeah, you do. You were a backyard wrestler. Yeah, right. Anyways... So, well, we gotta go to our next match. It's gonna be a fatal four-way for the XGWL Women's Championship. Mm -hmm. Sarah Warfield, as great of a champion as she is, she has three tough competitors right, up against right. her. And it's not gonna be easy defending that title against... Yeah, especially with you out here. What about me? I'm just... Well, How many times I, do I have to keep I mean, telling you? You distract, the ref, you distract the wrestlers every time they get next to the announce table with your uh, old day stone. Cologne, you know. Oh, oh wait, that, that's you. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I know that ooh, this skunk smell is definitely from you, not from me. So, how about you get it right for once? Anyways, here comes Dino Diamond to the ring. Well, I'll say this much, Hector. You attract more flies than many. Wow. You racist. How's that racist? Yeah, because you think I, I work at over at a... Taking... Taking food from the, from the, from the places over there. 
I never said you was a cafeteria worker. Wow. I said you were a janitor, not a cafeteria worker. And I get to take my trash out. Oh, you racist. Why do you tell them you keep going with the same thing over and over again? I don't know. What happened to Lillian Garcia? She was out here earlier. I don't know, maybe she just had a one match deal, I don't know. Maybe. But regardless of the fact, I mean, this is a good chance for for Diana Diamond to win back the XGWL Women's title. This could also mm -hmm. be a good chance for, for Moonlight, Rebecca Moonlight Nightfall to once again what be kind the... Of hair, what kind of hat is she wearing? I do not know. But this is going to be a good I chance swear, for... I swear, I can make jokes on that one all day long. I heard, baby. It's still the 17. <laughs> I mean, come on. She's wearing a pirate hat. Where's her pirate outfit? I don't know, but anyways, I I'd mean... I'd love to be on her boat. <laughs> well, regardless of the fact, I mean, this could be a good chance for Rebecca Moonlight Wait, Nightfall. wait, wait. That, that hat says Hector Diaz, Pimp Service. Yeah, well, no, it Why doesn't. Why did you learn that hat exactly? I... That's not... I do not have a hat like that. And that's a complete lie you just said. Uh-huh. Called 555 Hector. Maybe that's 555 Hector. That's eight numbers. So it's only a seven digit number. To get it right. For you, with you, it's an eight digit number. I mean, come on. They don't give janitors seven digit numbers. Oh. Again with that? Really? Yeah, really. I mean, I don't know about you being, I mean, a dumbhead from Kentucky and, and doing all this stuff that... You know, didn't I might be a dumbhead from Kentucky, but I, I sure do get it right. Huh, since when? Since, uh, forever. I don't think so. Well, anyways... Let's get back to the match of quick prank and jokes. Wait, hey, that's what you've been doing all, all this whole time. That's what I get paid for. Anyways, right. here comes Crimson. Former three outfit curves is wearing. I mean, there's little to the imagination here. You know, it looks like it could fall off at any moment. Well, regardless of what she's wearing, I mean, she's a former three-time XCWL Women's Champion, one of the best workers here in the women's division. Hey, hey uh, Hector, isn't that your cousin Billy out in the audience? I don't have a cousin named Billy. Maybe it was your cousin. Maybe. Besides, I have a I have a few cousins. I uh, actually have a lot of them. Yeah. But none of them are named Billy. Well, anyways, here comes the XGWL Women's Champion, Sarah Warfield, holding that title for a second time. And a proud fighting champion that she is. One of the strongest women in NCAW. In I mean, what an amazing match she had oh, against Wonder Woman over at Conspiracy. I mean, been here next to WL since day one and holding the title for, for the second time. And let's not forget that her first title run was the longest in next to WL history for, for record 277 days. Hmm. I wonder where you <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering where you went. Well, I'm back. Oh, the athletic ability that that Sarah Warfield has. Do not underestimate her size. She is just as quick. She can pull off a moon salt as well. Yeah, yeah, Sarah Warfield's getting ready to come out. Good boy. Alright, the champion has a 25% chance of winning the title. Uh, retaining it. Yeah, well, Tammy retained hers. Well, she did have some help. Let's not forget that. Well, regardless if she had help or not, she still won the match on her own. Well, and, and that help wasn't very much help at all. Well, anyway, let's get this match started. There's going to be a lot of action. Too much to be called in. What a bulldog there by Moonlight now. Sir Warfield will reverse DDT. Now, Irish Whip to the corner. Now, Sarah Warfield putting 
Moonlight in the Tree of Woe. And hey, I'm just dropping the elbow on her. And now, what's what's Diana Diamond gonna do here? Setting up Crimson on the top rope. And just leaving her there to hang out to dry. Yeah, that's like you on a lot of times. Oh wow. And now, Crimson. Well, I mean, you get wasted a lot of times after the show, and so it's like, you're always hanging there to dry. Uh, I think you got me confused with somebody else, buddy, and what a move there by Crimson, and what an atomic drop there by Diana Diamond onto Moonlight. And I was stripped to the corner. And, am and, and, oh, wow, what a German suplex there. By, by Sir Warfield, the champion onto Crimson. Yeah, that reminds me, Crimson and Clover. What's Just that? Saying. What is that? It's a song. And, and what a wraparound takedown by Crimson. Yeah, she's always good at wrapping things around. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Damn, what a elbow there by Crimson. And Crimson is one of the best all-around workers. As I mean, great high flyer, great brawler, great submission skills, great technical ability, and oh, what a DDT and double team maneuver there. Nice DDT. And now, now there's a great DDT there by, by Crimson. Yes. And now, super, super nice super. job with that standing moonsault, and now, and Sir Wolf, Wolf are just going to work there on Moonlight. And now, now delivering a belly to belly to Crimson. And damn, what a takedown. Yeah, you would love for her to take you down, wouldn't you? Wow. How how random of you. And now, Thank you. Oh, what a complete shot there by Crimson. You, now, remember, if they come out here next to the announce table, you got to run. Wow. You're, you're not going to get up and run? And now... And... Diana Diamond going for the ride. And now, Crimson with the cover. One, two, and Sir Warfield able to kick out after two. Am I right? You what? You love to take it for a ride. Yeah, yeah, I know you would, but, but then Jonathan Magnum will come kick your ass. And now. Yeah, like he did you the other What a head scissors take takedown. What? Like he did you the other day over five bucks. Well, you know, with five bucks and what a somersault sent on there by Crimson. Oh, wow! Knocking Diamond off the ring apron. And now going to the top rope and. Oh! What a 450 splash! That was amazing. Simply amazing there by Crimson with that 450 splash. Yes, yes, it was a very nice 450 splash. And now, what a takedown by Sarah Warfield. A judo takedown. Yeah, she takes him down with the best of them. Oh, what a DDT there by Crimson. Unlock that piece of... What? Any dreadful. What do you mean? Wait, can you repeat that? I said she takes him down with the best of them. Unlock that piece of... Any dreadful. A cover by Crimson and... And Sir Warfield able to kick out after two. I swear, you gotta stop... Bagging on... On Sarah Worf, I mean on Penny Dreadful. Penny Dreadful is one of the best women's wrestlers in, in CAW. So says you. Now, can you imagine if Penny Dreadful was to return to XGWL? I'd be making fun of her just as is. Oh my, oh my lord, I will be, I will be really amazed if, if, if she hears everything that you've been saying about her. She listens every week, and oh, how boy, howdy, she will, she will love to tear you a new one. And now look and at the power there of Sarah Warfield. She's still all she can oh, tear wow. new one. She's a very geriatric wrestler. Oh, what? And now Sarah Warfield modified camel clutch on the Diana Diamond. And Crimson and Moonlight. Can we go with Camel Clutch again? I explained the reasons it's called a Camel Rope. And now, Irish Whip sending 
Diana Diamond to the corner. And reversal there by Diana Diamond. Wake me up when this match is over. Oh, come on. Why are you saying this? This has been, this been a pretty good match. Only you would find it boring. Oh, great. <laughs> you, seriously. And there, Camel Clutch applied there by Diana Diamond. I mean, Sarah Warfield to Diana Diamond. How how rude of of my broadcast colleague Joshua, and now Sarah Warfield with the with the bear hug. It just and will she tap out? And the power of Sarah Warfield, and oh wow, what a DDT! Seriously, Joshua, wake up, wake up. Huh? What is this match over? You gotta stop sleeping. Seriously, that is that is very unprofessional and rude. Especially with a great title match like this one. And now, Sarah Warfield. Oh, going, about to go for the Golden Axe. Hey, Setting up for it. Game. Oh, Let's wow. This has got to be it. And, hey, what the? What a counter by, you by Moonlight. And just no sold it. Damn, what, what, what toughness by Moonlight. Countering. And damn. Just take it to the champ. I can't believe you won't be up in the match running no good. Well, seriously, because cause that's, that's being un unprofessional and rude. Seriously. You have four of the best women's wrestlers here fighting for the XGW women's title. Come on, this is not the big fit in Stanford where they don't even give a shit about their women's division. And oh, what a brain buster there by Sarah Warfield. Well, I'm going back to sleep, so let me Dude, no. Know. The cover now. One. And and what and Moonlight with the save. Get up. I'm sorry, what? And Oh, face buster and Oh what a around the world head scissors oh, by uh, Crimson. Hey, so you might want to check your shoulder, you got a little bit of on. <laughs> How? Um, seriously, that's I think so. Seriously, Joshua, you gotta stop, stop being so rude. And what a DDT I'm there! Rude. Taking, well, you're taking it to a whole nother level. And what a counter there by Crimson! And nice monkey flip. <clears throat> Hold on, man. To everybody out in the audience, this is a pee break match. What? You gotta go, gotta go take a pee. Do it now. Can you shut up with that? Look, I, again, I told you, this is not... Oh, and Moonlight knocking... Hey, look, knocking Sir the Wolf out of the ring. Going out in the commissary stand. And what a counter now. And and Dinah Diamond just playing Crimson like a like a top and out. Just going to work there just with that overhead club. And now the cover. One, two... Three and that's it, man. Yeah. And Dinah Diamond is your new XGWO Women's Champion. Yay! And you are so rude. And congratulations to Dinah Diamond for winning the XGWO Women's Title once, once again well, for the well, second time. The audience is left because I told him to go take a break. You are so. You have sunk to a new low. So never in my in my in my years of doing commentary have I had a, a broadcast colleague be that's so unprofessional and rude. Thank you. That's all right. I, I would much rather work with the JM Factor right now than you right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Cause that was completely. I don't even know if I can put it in words anymore. Wait, we'll get the next match. Come on. Really? Uh, anyways, this is going to be the first of three prison yard matches. This we first got, one for the... Mr. Pimpin ain't easy. Afro Man himself. There's Brandon Thomas, the new XCW World Pure Champion, winning the title over John Pryor. You know who Brandon Thomas honestly reminds me of? Who? Lee Travis. 
I guess. Yeah, uh, look at his face. How so? Well, I'm just look at his face. He's just not doing any crap. I'm not too sure about that. Was it the is it the big afro? No, it's the face. Is it the big sunglasses? Mm -hmm. Or the Can't you see it? Not really. Yeah, well, you have no creativity. Maybe it's maybe it's just you. Well, I know I got messed up a good match. During the last match. Well anyways, here comes this guy. And it upset you that I took the map out here. Yeah, that was that's that is again like I told you. XGW is not the big fed in Stanford and here comes John Pryor and it's not the big fed in Stanford where they don't even give a shit about well, the you know, John Pryor probably got a few words for me for sleeping out here during his girlfriend's match. Yeah, I'm sure he will. <laughs> and well, I'm sure he does. I'll be and I'll be really happy if, if he if he if he knocks some sense into you, but but I know he's your buddy, so and, and honestly, I know Tony's laughing in the back what I just did. I have no... He always, he always gets a kick out of what I do. I'm pretty a, I'm pretty a likable guy. Well, I know that that hopefully Jonathan Magna will later on when he defends his ultimate title will put knocks and sense into you. I would really love to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you would. Now here comes uh, Slim Shady out here. Pretty Slim Shady. Look at him with the afro. Slim Shady. Not Slim Shady. Well, here comes Sherman. Right. Like I said, it's uh, Slim Shady. Former XGWO Crusado champion. Former XGWO well, Pure he's champion. He's the greatest go team. <laughs> Form Former XGW oh. Pro Champion, also former one half of the XGW Tag Team Champion with Slash. Not to be racist or anything, what does he think he is from the hood? Come on, again with that? Well, he's from LA, and he's also. That bitch And he's also proud of his heritage from Guatemala, so. That explains it. He's from LA. That explains everything. Oh, wow, you racist. How does that racist? I mean, you, you can't what? help but to take shots at the at the Latinos. I mean, take shots at me all, all the time. I mean, I mean now you're taking shots at Sherman. Yeah, for all I know, you live, could live in Compton. No, that's... No, I mean, you're thinking about East LA. I know what over happened? there in the barrio. Remember. You mean where you live, right? In East LA. No, I'm from Mexicali. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, here comes so, Chris Klein. In his, yeah. In his, yeah, 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 yeah. The dude's waiting with XGWL. In his final XGWL match, whether he wins or loses. Well, but that's why, if you wonder what the party favors are doing out here all night, uh, when he loses this match, we're going to throw a party in the ring. It's Come on now. Well, look. Look what I've got sitting around me. Balloons, party favors. Do you see it? No. Well, look down. I refuse to. Because you are so unprofessional. Come on, hurry up and talk, because you suck. What do you mean I suck? Not you. I was yelling at Chris Corner. Look, I'm standing for me and that's fake to turn around. Get back down. I really hope that Chris Clyde does knock some sense into you. Because <laughs> that would be so awesome if he did. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. You're stuck with me, though. Yes, I know. And here comes the leader of Team Deutschland, Patrick Hamburg. Team Deutschland, huh? Yeah, he's... No, honestly, I, I, I'm not much of a German team, but I think they hang out a lot in uh, Amsterdam. Hmm. 
I wouldn't blame him if he did. I mean, that's not my it's not my business to judge anybody. Yeah, yeah, but you wanna join him a lot of times they said no. Hey look, I have a wife and kid at home, so you don't have to be joining. Actually I heard you were getting a divorce. Alright. That's what I heard. You and your inaccurate information. Well that's what you told me. No. Again with your lies. You told me back in the break room that you was getting divorced. Probably wasn't. But then what did you tell me the other day in the break room? I, I just, I was telling you about the the, the upcoming matches for Peyton Cole. Yeah, I don't think so. You just don't want to talk to him here. I, um, it's no, it's useless talking to you because you don't, you don't pay attention to anything that's being said. Here yeah. comes Crackdown. You know, Crackhead honestly uh, thinks he can save a city, but he can't. Really again with this whole Crackhead thing? Look, he looks like a freaking superhero. Who does he think he is, Superman? Why not? Hey. Hey, I mean, this is going to be a great opportunity for Crackdown if we can win here, win the pure title. Right. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying too, but honestly, Crackhead could not win anything. Come on, now look. Here's the rules. Two two competitors will start at, and every minute an, an, an additional competitor will be added to the match in, the, in their prison from their prison you know, cell. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the glass got broke. Those chambers aren't cheap. Well, it's basically 10 miles of chain ra wrapped around the ring. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, guys, can we wrap uh, Hector in some chain? I, I don't think so. As we get this match started, John Pryor, oh, the former champion, started things off against Chris Klein here. Honestly, you know what I got to say, Chris Klein? Get out of the ring, you loser. You suck. I mean, he's, come on, he's, he's a second-round draft pick in last year's CAW draft. Yeah, and his uh, cousin Calvin sells underwear. What's your point? I mean, he's got some talent. I mean, it sucks that he's going to leave after this after this match, but... Are you leaving with him? What? I said, are you leaving with him? No. So you're not going to go and welcome him or send him off out the door? No, I got... I have a job to do. As so yeah, do sure, you. Sure. And so now the got, countdown. Who's going to be the third entrant you know, into this one? Let's actually, see. I'll take that back. Here comes Crackdown. Crackhead! <laughs> Against? Will you stop with that? He went into a crackhead neighborhood once and uh, they told him to leave that he was an imposter. No, usually what happens is, is they don't, an imposter, they don't just tell him to leave, they just shoot him and, and kill him right there and on sight. So obviously, no, they didn't tell him to leave. obviously what you said is a lie. Yeah, I'm sure it was. And now, nice go behind by... That's up to number what, 400? What? What do you mean? You keep saying I'm lying, so what, we're up to number 400? Yeah, maybe. What, are you counting these? Yeah, of course I am. Wow, and now, Crackdown shoots the half going for the cover. I and wait three! A wait a minute, you didn't call it. Chris Klein just got eliminated. I, I am shocked. I didn't think you would be the first to be eliminated. Now here uh -huh, comes the jackass one. Here comes Patrick Hamburg. Well, what's yes, I called it. What's yes, I called him a jackass? So what? What's Patrick Hamburg doing? He he gotta do something. He's drunk. I guess. I mean, you know how you know how potent those German beers are. Yeah. Hey, he ain't drinking German beers. He's eating some uh, strong brownies, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> strong brownies. And, oh, wow, what a belly to belly. Hey, you know what kind of brownies they sell in Amsterdam? I actually do not. I'm sure you don't. You don't want to admit that you went there. And now, what's Crackdown doing? Oh, wow. You know, honestly, so I'm glad that Chris Klein lost. Why? So he couldn't leave out of here with the title, that's why. And now the count, though, who's going to be the fifth entrant into this one? 
And it's the it's it's the XGWO Pure Champion Brandon no, Thomas. Honestly, he tried to pull a CM Punk. Leave out with the title. Well, that didn't happen. No, and I'm glad it did. And damn, Crackdown took a bad fall to the outside of the ring, and out. Oh, what a German suplex there by John Pryor, the former champ. And now, the little belly to belly to Patrick Hamburg. You know, so when is Slim Shady coming out? Well, he's good. well, he's yet to enter the match in this prison yard, and oh man, what a shin breaker there by Patrick Hamburg. Now he's coming in. Wow. You know, Slim Shady actually looks like uh, Vanilla Ice. No, he doesn't. What do you mean he looks like Vanilla Ice? Exactly what I mean. He looks like Vanilla Ice. He does not. And the countdown here. Oh, oh, as we await Sherman. Hey, you know something else? What's that? Do you ever get that enclosed feeling? I mean, we got this big chamber around us. You ever get that kind of enclosed feeling? We're outside of the chamber, or this prison yeah, yard. Yeah, but I mean, look how close it is to us. Do you get that just kind of, like, we're enclosed kind of deal? No, because we have our monitors. We got cameras all over the arena to be able to check out the match and now just throwing punches. Speaking of cameras, um, I'm looking at the camera in the back. And Chris Klein's heading up the door. Look, I don't blame him, but I am hoping that another CAW league signs him, and hopefully he'll get a get a, an opportunity to go, to go for a title. Well, you know, I mean, I hate to break up the you know match here or not whatever, but uh, oh, look at the Chris, power there by Patrick Chris Hamburg. Klein, he did say some bad stuff about us, and he was talking to the internet tabloids, and honestly, you know, good luck to him, but. Really, that's why I'm checked off because he talked about our balls bad. I mean, yeah. So what a head scissors take down by Sherman and oh wow, what an over the back face but, buster. You know, that's some of the things you, you and I have talked about, but you won't really discuss. And look, there's a lot of discussions that that just need to be taken behind closed doors. And what a suplex right there. I don't know if he'll be welcome back to XGWL. I don't know. I don't deal with the boss's affairs. I just do my job, and, you know, that's about it. I mean, all he can really do is speculate. But if he can speculate, at least, have, what I'm doing. at least have some, some good knowledge on it, not just out of randomness. Well, I did. I had a little bit of knowledge. Not very much, but, you know. Well, how about some more knowledge? What a bulldog there by, by the champ, and what a... He does work on the back there of Patrick Hamburg. And, oh, what a double knee takedown by Crackdown to Brandon Thomas. Crackhead. Will you stop with the whole crackhead? Really, it's getting annoying. Well, look, he's wearing white. He's a crackhead. <laughs> no, that doesn't mean anything. Alright, sure it does. And, oh, what a Pele kick you know, there. You know, he looks like a... He honestly, with that mask, he looks like a tamale. Crackdown is not Mexican. He is, he is an American. Sure he is. And now... So, what's he trying out for? Uh, is he trying out for the new Ninja Turtle movie? What do you mean? What a face What is buster. he going to be, the fifth turtle? There's no fifth turtle. I'm, come on, you know that there's four Ninja Turtles. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's trying out for the... To be no Look at the getup he's wearing. He's, it's just a suit. Why don't somebody demask him? Yeah, I know you would love to see that. Yeah. Oh, my crackhead almost got eliminated. And now, uh, Brandon Thomas going to work there on Sherman. And. I guess what? Oh, what a suplex. Now the cover. Got a new elimination. And oh, what a kick out there. I don't think so. Not. Wait, the cover. One, two, and that's it. That is it for Patrick Hamburg. That's what I just said. Patrick Hamburg is gone. And, and now we're down to four. And man, what an end to kick there by Sherman. And now, what a goal behind there by Sherman. You know, honestly, nobody has broke the glass yet. Uh oh, never mind. I stand Damn. corrected. What do you mean? And now, well, the glass could obviously be broken, am I right? Well, that's a possibility, and now... Oh, wait. What's... Oh, face first right in that 
I think it's either fiberglass or pexiglass or something, but that did not break. That's what I just said. Could the glass be broken? Oh, the answer is obviously no right now. Oh, you know, what a face honestly, buster. Them chambers, are, hey, them chambers are made to be climbed. And now, what a suplex there by Crackdown. I would love to see somebody do a moonsault off the roof. Well, we'll see if that happens. I mean, like they say, you know, any, anything can happen. This is useless wrestling knowledge. A, but, uh, do you remember the time Goldberg spared somebody to one of the... Roll players? up the cover! And, and Crackdown's been eliminated. One, two, and... What the? Why did he, why did he make this save on the? Uh, as I was saying, do you remember the time Goldberg spared somebody through glass? It was kind of sweet. Oh yes. Irish up to the ropes. <laughs> we need somebody like Goldberg in XGWL. Just uh, saying. Um, how about no? We don't need someone just squashing people in like ninety seconds. Why not? Because. That's a waste of everybody's time right there. Yeah, yeah, I know your commentary squashes everybody in about 90 seconds. How ridiculous of, of you with that ridiculous commentary with another lie. Yeah. Oh, what a knife edge chop. And now roll up the cover. One, two, and oh, reversal. One, two, and oh, wow, what a kick out. We've had a lot of reversals tonight in this match. This match has been interesting, but where's the chairs? How are they going to bring the chairs inside? Oh, what a what a T-bone suplex! Very easy. You just grab one and take it through the door. How are they going to? There's no way we can get a, a steel chair inside this one. The cover now. Two, and oh, reversal. One, two, and oh man, what a kick out! Well, you know. It's honestly true. When they go over those top ropes onto that concrete out there, oh. it hurts. What? You think, well, thank you, Captain Obvious. What are the ones you having? Oh, wait! What a roll up the cover! One, two, and that's it! And Brandon Thomas eliminating Sherman, and now it's down to the former champion, the current goodbye, champ. Goodbye, Vanilla Ice. Goodbye, Vanilla Ice. Come on. How ridiculous of you. And now. This is a real test here for Brandon Thomas. Can he retain the title? And, oh, what a German suplex. Let's see if Afro Thunder can uh, retain the title. Oh, what an elbow. What do you mean, Afro Thunder? What is that, anyway? Uh, it's from a video game, Ready to Rumble Boxing. Oh. Also in TNA's video game, if you're so inclined. Oh, what a roundhouse kick there by Brandon Thomas. I mean, this and I is... don't mean to talk about your buddy, Chris Klein. I mean, Calvin Klein. Chris Klein, everything. Anyway, let's get back to this matchup. What a reversal there. I mean, this is a real test here. Can he win this match? Can he retain the title? And Oh, what an arm breaker right there on the John Pryor. Or will John Pryor win... Win back the pure title and, and what a Who knows? what a straight jacket neck breaker. And now just stomping away at the limbs, at the legs now. And just again now the other arm and now the face. And now what's John probably gonna do here? What do y'all always do? Lose. And what a counter there by Brandon Thomas. This is a good He's opportunity and, always, Oh lose. what a roundhouse kick. And damn! I mean, I mean, and now roll up the cover. One, two, and oh, what a kick out! Reversal. You know, one, are, two. I can say this honestly: these are the kind of matches you kill for. The cover, two, and wow, what a kick out there by John Pryor. Do you agree? Yes, this is the kind of matches that that everyone would would love to see here. One match that just goes back and forth, where everyone putting all of their effort, pulling all the stops to to win the title. And now, come on now, really the cover and using the ropes for illegal leverage, and yep, use the ropes. and Brandon Thomas was able to kick out. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really got to give Brandon Thomas a lot of credit here and. 
Oh, what a suplex. Able to pick him up. And now going for the cover. One. Two. Almost two. Yeah, there was almost a two count there. You know, honestly, why don't he grab one of the chains? Oh, and wow. Around him and then pin him. What a knife edge chopping. Uh, sending him back into the ring. I mean, he could take the chain apart and use it. How's he going to be able to take it apart? It's It's been constructed so well. And oh, what a roundhouse kick. Yes, I know. We got the uh, little Mexican troop uh, <laughs> constructing this thing. Damn. Yeah. I know. I'm a racist. You heard me. You yeah. always call me racist. Brandon so Thomas able to get out of the way. <laughs> I just said it before you did. And you're proud of yourself for that? No, I'm not racist. But I just said it because I knew that's what she was going to say. And what a straight jacket and neck breaker there by John Pryor under Brandon Thomas. Who does that, honestly? I don't know. And now, reversal. You know, you're going to have a lot of lot to clean up here afterwards. Oh, what a what an arm drag. And again, you got to stop with that. It's getting old. And yeah, it oh, what a kick. Close. And how about doing your job? I am. Oh, wow. Face first into the into I'm the cell. I'm doing my job by avoiding you. And both these men fighting it out. Who's going to win this one? It's down to these two. Whoever gets the last pin wins the pure title. You know, honestly, why don't they climb the cage and try to use that to the advantage? I don't know. They just want to just... Just go mano a mano. I guess so. Oh, what a counter there by by John Pryor. Now, shoots the half, going for the cover. One, two, three. And John Pryor winning back the XGWL Pure title. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to give Brandon Thomas credit for, for fighting it out as best as he could. I do. Indeed, I do. I mean... What a tough test that was for him. I mean, I give him, I mean, all the credit in the world there. That was a hard-fought victory for for John Pryor, for Brandon Thomas stepping up his game but coming up short. And John Pryor, again, your XGWL Pure Champion. We still have more XGWL painful to go, including the... Two more prison yard matches, one for the pro title, one for the pure title on part three.